MSNBC, the place for politics, and we're looking at former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. We've been talking about him quite a bit. I'm sure we will be in the days to come. He's finding himself under more scrutiny as, of course, he searches ahead in the polls. His Republican rivals are going over him, and they were certainly going over him with a fine-tooth comb over the weekend. Mitt Romney coming after him, calling him unrepublican for saying the Bush administration has, quote, an arrogant bunker mentality. He's also been fielding ethics questions about thousands of dollars in gifts he took while he was the governor of Arkansas. And now a sensitive family issue is resurfaced. Back in 1998, folks in Arkansas might know this story. One of Huckabee's sons faced allegations that he was involved in the hanging of a stray dog at a Boy Scout camp. Michael Isakoff is an investigative correspondent for Newsweek magazine. Uh, Huckabee ahead by nine points in the latest Iowa poll, now leading in Florida. But I'm wondering, it seems like these stories just sort of come up one after another after another, but it doesn't seem to be knocking him off message or, frankly, disrupting his momentum, at least not yet. Is he a Teflon candidate right now? Well, it's, it's way too early to say. I mean, people are just starting to get to know him nationally, to learn about him. And, of course, when you suddenly catapult to the top of the polls in a presidential race, it is uh, uh, pretty much expected that your, your entire life and record is going to get a, a lot of scrutiny, and people are going to be looking at every aspect of it. We take a look at the uh, Quad City Times. As you see right there, Huckabee really off and running. I'm, I'm, in particular, I'm curious, Michael, about the, the story with his son and the dog uh, right that that is an emotional story I think people will find that reprehensible is that the kind of story that really could damage his candidacy well uh, it's hard to say uh, uh, people will also might also think that uh, uh, the press or rivals would be picking on his son the story is really not so much what his son did it's what he governor Huckabee did or at least the allegations about what he did when this came up when a uh, animal rights group was raising the issue of what happened at the dog camp where his son um, incidentally was fired for uh, what was done to a dog uh, these uh, prose local prosecutors sought help from the Arkansas State Police to investigate whether this was a violation of animal cruelty laws in the state. And that's where the story implicates uh, uh, Michael Huckabee, the governor, his father, uh, because the director of the Arkansas Police, State Police at the time, says he was pressured by first Governor Huckabee's uh, chief of staff and then his family lawyer to uh, uh, write back a letter to the prosecutor saying that the state police would not investigate this when he balked at doing that, according to John Bailey, who was then the director of the Arkansas State Police. Um, he says Huckabee uh, fired him. He fired him seven months after this event, and when they met, and he told him he, was, he had lost his confidence. Huckabee had lost, Bailey had lost Huckabee's com uh, confidence. Bailey says, Huckabee says, you didn't help me out with that problem I had with my son. So essentially, uh, what John Bailey is alleging here is that he was fired from the top law enforcement job in Arkansas for uh, his uh, uh, for not uh, kowtowing to the governor and backing off an investigation that involves his son. The head of the FBI office in Little Rock at the time says that without question Huckabee was interfering in a state police investigation. I should say Governor Huckabee denies these allegations, says uh, the uh, incident with his son had nothing to do with uh, the reasons he fired John Bailey, but this is the kind of case that is going to be getting some scrutiny. You're right, and I think as, as he gets even more popular assuming he's around long enough to get to Super Tuesday. I mean, I think the jury is still out that uh, his national candidacy has uh, real legs because he just doesn't have the organization of the dollars right now. But you never know. But I think as he's out there longer, people will begin to do more discovery, and these sorts of things will come up. But I'm curious if, if it's your sense that this is sort of, for lack of a better uh, description, business as usual in Arkansas. It's sort of a way that they do things down there, and, and maybe we're just making a bigger deal out of it because it offends our sensibilities, maybe? Well, I, you know, that's certainly what some people may perceive on this. And, of course, we went through that a lot during the Clinton years when uh, what looked to the national press and a national audience in Washington as uh, conflicts of interest and excessive coziness, uh, the defense often was that's the way things are done in Arkansas, Small state where everybody knows each other and everybody, you know, has a certain way of doing business. Um, you know, it uh, it didn't stop Bill Clinton from being elected president uh, twice, but it also didn't stop a lot of people from investigating him. Just a couple people. <laughs> yeah. Newsweek's Michael Isakoff. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Appreciate it.